We're going to my favorite restaurant tonight. Yes, it is the restaurant where we missed the reservation. I also had like three drinks for 12 bucks. The top is from Amazon. All the drinks that they currently have will be gone by the new year. Day three in Vegas and we are getting a very late start. We slept until about, well, I slept until 11. Trevor just got up, it's about noon. We're gonna walk over to the Miracle Mile shops and get some food. I came across this TikTok that was like, how to do Vegas on less than $20 in one day. I was like specifically looking for lunch spots and this lunch spot came up. So we're gonna go over there and then probably walk through the Bellagio Conservatory and stuff. We do have an early dinner, so it's a little tricky that we got up so late and then we also have an early dinner, so we have to be back here by five, but we're going to my favorite restaurant tonight. Yes, it is the restaurant where we missed the reservations on night one. I know I've said this in the last three vlogs, but just in case if you guys are popping in here at any time other than December, right when I posted these, I'm in the middle of Vlogmas, so this whole Vegas trip has had daily vlogs, so you can check out the vlog playlist in the description below if you want to check out what else we've done in Vegas but like I said today is our last full day then tomorrow I think we're just getting up and having brunch with Trevor's mom and then we're gonna head home but today like I said we have the full day in Vegas so we've really just been kind of like staying nearby wherever we're at the first night we stayed at Excalibur and then last night and tonight we're at Caesars so today slash tonight we definitely want to walk around a little bit more and just see more things i mean we're always in vegas but there's still some things that we like definitely want to hit up but here's my outfit top is old from misguided the cargo pants are from white fox i love these these are like my favorite pants i have my new balances and then the puffer vest is from steve madden and then the fendi bag is vintage from rebat so we're gonna head out of here and go get some food at Ocean One. You were in Vegas on a budget and you need a good cheap lunch place but you want like big portions. Don't expect it to be gourmet level or anything but you just like want big portions and you want a drink during lunch. Holy crap. Highly recommend. Like the food was decent. Actually my pizza was pretty good. And then also our spinach artichoke dip was really good. Trevor said that his mahi tacos were okay but we also had like three drinks for 12 bucks so we got four drinks because trevor got a bloody mary we got an artichoke spinach dip trevor got mahi tacos and i got chicken pasta came out to 40 bucks like that's fucking insane so yeah we recommend it and then he put my last drink in a to-go cup the service very happy with it but yeah i think now we're gonna walk over to the bellagio i've got a drink to go to sip on while we walk perfect
So it's a bit later. We just came back to the room after gambling and just hung out, chilled. We've been watching Pitch Perfect and right now Pitch Perfect 2 is on. It's commercial clearly. But I just got dressed that I'd show you guys. Wow, my shirt is shedding everywhere. I've got the coat on right now because I, I am a little cold in this in here. But the top is from Amazon, just like a feather black tube top. Yes, it is shedding everywhere. It is poking me like the other ends of the feathers are poking me, but you know what? I love the outfit. We're gonna live with it. Pants are the Abercrombie trousers, you know, the viral trousers. I'm not gonna put my shoes on yet, but I have a pair of just boots, but these trousers are so long on me, even though they're the short version, you honestly won't be able to see the boots anyways. So it doesn't really matter what shoes I'm wearing, but I have, you guys, this puffer coat. If you live in like a climate where it gets freezing because right now it's like 30 degrees at night here this coat is amazing you literally will not feel any chill through it even if it's windy you're not gonna feel the wind through this it's literally like wearing a down comforter out in public it is so warm so i'm rocking this tonight i was gonna do a different jacket but after seeing how well this kept me warm last night i was like well for sure i'm gonna wear this one so yeah this is the duffel puffer wrap in case you guys were looking for it, I'll have it in the description below. Then earrings are the rhinestone earrings that I got from Amazon for, I think it was Cabo. And then I did my hair. I don't know. How, maybe you guys can see this way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There, I guess you can kind of see it there. I did my hair in this like little flipped up half pony. It's like really, really cute, especially from the front because it just looks so like perky in there but trevor is finishing getting ready and we're heading out to dinner we're going to so i guess it's still the mirage i thought that they had already converted it to the hard rock but it's still the mirage maybe the hard rock by the point that you're watching this but we're going there for dinner as i've mentioned before my favorite restaurant in vegas is over there it's called a toro they are keeping it i'm so happy but it's a sushi and robotic grill yes we are doing japanese food two nights in a row japanese my favorite cuisine so honestly not a surprise but yeah we're gonna go there because we missed it on the first night and then we're gonna try fingers crossed to get in a table at the chandelier bar which is my favorite bar in vegas so i guess we're just hitting my vegas favorites tonight for some reason i couldn't make a reservation i've been trying to and it won't let me like the whole reservation system just hasn't been accepting anything so we're gonna see if we can just walk in it is a monday night we keep thinking it's sunday but it's monday so i feel like that's our best chance of just walking in and getting a table so hopefully we'll be able to do that tonight but we're gonna finish getting ready and then head out of here Right when it's posted and you guys 
want to try any of the drinks that we have at the chandelier bar our waitress let us know that they're actually redoing the entire menu all the drinks that they currently have will be gone by the new year so if you were interested in any of our drinks go now oh this is pretty oh very nice but we're at paris right now gambled a little bit here at planet hollywood at cosmo cosmo wiped me out it killed us man. yeah it did but it usually does actually i mean last time i well, earlier, earlier today, today, yeah, Cosmo was good to me, so that's why I wanted then, to and then go there, and then it fucked me fireball over. Fireball killed us, too. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's, it's close. Oh, man. Sorry, okay. we'll go to the other yeah. one. Yeah. So, right now, we are actually in search of pizza. We tell them about the tradition. Yeah, we just, like, inadvertently started this tradition where, <laughs> like, just realized it. <laughs> at least one night in Vegas, we tend to just go get a pizza late at night and bring it back to our room and just eat a pizza in our room. So we're looking for a pizza right now to go get. We're on the hunt. We think we have a place. It says it's open to 4.30, so hopefully it really is. <laughs> We got pizza from, it's called Pisa Pizza, like the Tower of Pisa Pizza. It's over by Bally's, but oh my God. We got the cheese pizza and then garlic knots. So excited to try this. Christmas. 